Hello everyone! In this episode, Bartega will take you to travel back to 2013 when Disney first invited us to the land of Arendelle and the movie Frozen. Everything about the film, the songs, the scenery, the clothes, and of course our beloved Olaf was so beautiful and magical. So yeah, that's basically where our inspiration for today's painting comes from. Before we get started, remember to prepare the following materials beforehand. Now, before we start to paint, I'm using a black marker or you can use a pencil to sketch the snowy valley upon which Elsa will stand later on. After you're done with the sketch, squeeze the paint onto your palette. We're going to combine three colors consisting of dark blue, blue, and aqua blue to create a night sky with a northern light background. We'll start from the darkest one, which is a mixture of blue and a bit of black. Paint almost half of your canvas. The second blue shade we create is a combination of lots of white and add only a small amount of blue and a tiny drop of yellow. As you can see, the transition is harsh, so now we want to work on creating a nice gradation between these two colors. So what I did, I mixed my aqua blue color with more blue paint and apply it on top of where the transition should take place. In order to get yourself a perfect blend of this northern light sky, blend with the help of your fingertip when needed. For now, let the base dry and let's paint the snow. Here you can start by distributing just titanium white onto the upper part of the snowy valley. To create the shade of the snow, I'm going to mix some red paint into blue and white paint, then color the bottom part of the canvas. Then, it gradually goes from medium purple at the bottom to very light purple and ends up with white at the top of the valley. Now that we're done with the background, it's time to start sketching the outline of Elsa, our Snow Queen. To simplify our painting, we will draw her from the back position. Starting by mixing yellow into white paint, we're gonna sketch her braided hair by dragging our brush in curved lines over and over again down towards her back. For the outline of arms and the rest of her clothes, you can create them with aqua blue colors we previously made for the northern lights. If you're satisfied with the sketch, it's time to move on to the next step, which is filling the background with some mountains. The first thing you're gonna do is to outline them with a dark color, preferably dark blue. Try to add higher mountains on the right and left side and make them lower and lower towards the center. Once you're happy with the outline, cover everything using black or dark blue paint again. Done with the mountains, then it's time to paint the base colors of Elsa's figure by doing some color blocking. Mix white and yellow for the hair, blue for the dress, and brown for her hands.
In this step, we will work on some details in the background. As for the sky, I want only a slight greenish blue light peeking through the mountains, while the rest is dark. So add more of the dark blue, then continue with lighter blue shades moving towards the light. To liven up the sky even further, I'm adding another layer of northern light by simply dragging my thinnest brush with aqua blue paint, then blending everything up towards the sky. Slightly peeking up, these mountains look flat right now, so what you want to do is to add highlights to make them look three-dimensional. Because the sky is mostly bluish, I'm applying the same greenish blue color by simply dabbing it while leaving out some black areas, then roughly blending it with my index finger. Later on, you can come back in with white paint to add more dramatic highlights on the mountains and apply it with the same technique as the previous one. Dab with brush and blend with finger. The sixth step is where we focus on Elsa's details. Start by mixing up white, yellow, red, and a bit of blue to get a nice brown color and I'm just going around both of her hands and tiny fingers carefully. Also, I'm applying the same color paint to shade her braided hair. and adding white on the areas where the highlights are strong. Do the same for shadows and highlights on Elsa's sleeves. As for the cape, I'm going to start off with the darkest shade first and apply it to the area where the flares are happening. Next, I'm applying a medium greenish blue tone. Then continue with a lighter tone. It's always a good idea to mix all the colors you need before you begin the application in order to speed up the blending process. Alright, now to create the huge snowflake figure that is the emblem of Elsa's magical power, load up your thin brush with greenish blue paint and start sketching. Make sure you don't just paint straight narrow lines, make the lines thicker around the center area. We want this huge snowflake to become the center point of our painting, apart from Elsa of course. So to do that, I will build up the snowflake with lighter greenish blue paint. Do the same technique but just make sure you don't fully cover the colors underneath. 
If you're done, add another final layer, but this time with just titanium white paint so it looks like there's light bursting from the center part of the snowflake. All the objects are done, so now we just need to add some sparkles. Take your biggest flat brush to complement our night sky by painting some tiny yellow stars or do the splattering technique with the mixture of white paint and a bit of water. To illustrate the falling snow, instead of splattering, we do it one by one and remember to adorn Elsa's dress with some sparklies. Well, I'm all done and I hope you enjoyed the session, my friends. If you happen to follow this tutorial with us today, don't forget to tag us on Instagram at BartegaNightStudio and include the hashtag BartegaYouTube to get an honorary shout out on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and event updates. Bye!